everyone and welcome to Red United TV and welcome to the catch up volume 16 an interesting week for Manchester United two defeats in a row and with my brothers as usual as always how you doing Amok? Devastated it's alright two defeats one week can't take it no more and what are you saying Jax? I ain't saying, saying nothing I'm just yeah and guys, of course, as always, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and make sure you share the video to everyone that you know. Let's get straight into the show. Istanbul 2, Manchester United 1. The most dreadful performance I've seen in a long time, especially in the first 45 minutes. The second half, Lack Lost Start, looked like Oli didn't know what he was doing. Disgusting. Disgusting guys, I cannot smile. I am upset, I'm angry, I'm fuming, but I just have to just keep it positive. I suppose because obviously you top red fans want us to be positive, innit? Only in them people, but you know, I'm not out right now. If I was only out, I'm even more only out. I'll be honest with you, I'm even more only out. I want him gone by the moment, by the time I wake up this tomorrow morning, by the time I get to work, I want him out, you know. The man, I just want him out the moment I wake up. Open my eyes, I want to look at my phone and see Oli has been sacked. But yeah, at the end of the day, that's my opinion. Everyone else is different. That match against Istanbul, I don't know what to say, guys, but oh, 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 it's, oh. I'm going to pass straight up to you, Mook. Let your feelings out. <laughs> Let your feelings out. Like, I always expected this, though. I've been. Why is that? Maybe because I want Oli out. I've never been Oli in. So I felt like if we lose three, four games in a row, that might make the bud do something about whatever's going on. Because one thing that I've noticed is one week, decent performance, nice goal line. The following week, dreadful performance, and we're losing. And one thing that actually upset me about this whole situation is that people saying we got, we've got a very good start to the Champions League, right? Which was good. But I want us to lose in the Champions League. Because we've had a very dreadful start to the Premier League. Six games, two wins, three, lo three losses and one dr draw. Appalling. Oh, we've, we've played for 18, 18, 18 points and we've only got how much? Seven? Six or seven, yeah. Seven? Yeah, seven. So we lost 11. Appalling. Appalling. Nah. And James, what about you? How do you feel about that match? I just do not understand why at home against Arsenal we're playing both Scott and Fred, two defensive <laughs> midfielders, yeah? Yeah. Now today against Istanbul, you're just playing Matic there. When you think an away game it'd make more sense to have maybe two holding midfielders. The game was appalling. The first goal, I'm blaming Matic. Of course the setup of the team, everybody was just playing a bit too gung ho. I didn't really understand. Uh, Matic just left bar free to go on a run, you know, and score that first goal. It was just a poor game. I think the boys are not playing for Oli anymore. It just looks like they've given up. It almost looks like they want him gone. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I saw it in their face. They, just, they didn't want to. They didn't want to play for him. You can. Everyone can see it. You can see it. More. You can see it. They just don't want to play for Oli no more. Like everything that they're doing is just. They're just doing it for the sake of doing it. It's, All I see is individual brilliance. Mm. Individual brilliance. I haven't seen any collective work as a team since we've got Oli. I ain't never seen that. It's just good tactics that work sometimes. But with a good manager, it should be working all the time, not sometimes. <laughs> exactly. Not sometimes. With good tactics, should work all the time. The days that it don't work, you know that, like, oh, do you know what? We can come back at this. But not... I don't understand what's going to United like... Like I said, I'm like I'm not really happy. I'm just in the same boat as um, my man said. I'm actually in the same boat as him. It's hard for me to smile. I'm really, really upset. Why are we going through what we're going through? Just cause the board or here will concern with Manchester United ain't taking the right decision. Do you know what worries me? Yeah. We can play Everton on Saturday, come back with a W, maybe the game after win that, and then the board will forget. It just seems like supporting United is like being on a permanent roller coaster. It's just up and down results, and it's gonna take four or five defeats in a row before Oli gets sacked. 
and it's just not good enough because over that. the longevity of the season, having up and down results, you're a mid table team. Trust you're me. Top eight Trust team. me. I, I have, both said. Both I have, said. I have to agree though because I'm not agree. It's like both it's like, said. It's like a I feel like I'm in full park. But I'm mostly on the shit rice. You know, most of the rice, I'm on the shit rice. The teacup rice, you're on the children rice. That's what I feel like. Sometimes I'm on the Nemesis, Nemesis Inferno, but my, uh, my adrenaline is up. And then sometimes I'm on the shit ride, the ponytail ride when you join on the horse and then mm, going around the circle. It is literally full park with Manchester United. That's how it is a roller coaster. It's up, but mostly downs. Mostly downs. And a little bit of what's. Guys, what is going on? What's going know. on? It's just. Like, remember when you said this I'm worried. And the reason I said I was worried was in life it's good to make references to stuff. I said Mourinho lost his first few games, uh, um, um, pre-season games. We're going to a new season with a very bad start. And this is the second time Oli's having a very bad start in the Premier League campaign. And the scary thing is he's still there. He considers six one. He's still there. Mm -hmm. One. Guys, help me out. I don't know what we have to do, but just like a real a real football club, they act swiftly and quickly. If it just was Real Madrid. The moment they lost six one to Tottenham, and they saw it, they saw their they saw the um, the, the team's season going down the drain. They will stop it, salvage it, and get rid of that manager, and bring someone else in. Barcelona. A lot of top clubs do this. But we, on the other hand, we're not a top club anymore. We don't behave no, like a top club. No. Uh, actually, they would show. They, they see the nation's pride. I don't think we are the nation's pride anymore because the auctions don't say that we are the nation's pride. Nation's pride will protect themselves, protect the, the, like, the reputation. Mm -hmm. Since we've got Oli, we've losing, we've lost probably 60% of the reputation that built by uh, the great Sir Alex Ferguson himself. And Why is that? Do you know what the funny thing is? This board doesn't seem to understand that all the money we're making now is off our legacy. Exactly. So let's keep Definitely. continue being dead. <laughs> the dead legacy comes out. That piece is going <laughs> to drop. The money's going to drop eventually. We can't keep <laughs> making money off something that happened 10, 20, 30 years ago. Exactly. Like, we, need we, to we, need, we need something new. We need like a new, um, 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 whatever the owners got to do to this club. But we need like a new generation or whatever investment. Um, we, we need them gone. That's what we need. We need them gone because they don't have the love for the club. They don't have the love for the sport itself. Mm -hmm. The only love they have is the fact that the, the club generates cash, money. Mm -hmm. That's them. And that's what makes them happy. They need to go. And also the, C the CEO needs to go. Like a lot of people need to go. And, and every, I sit here, I sort of like, I want the worst for Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. I want to be wrong. I want to be proven wrong, you know? It's not like I really... He's been waiting for I that. I just want to be long proven time. wrong. He's been waiting like, for that. I don't want to be Oli out, Oli out, Oli so he should go, he needs to go. No. I just want to be proven wrong, like. It just just, just prove me wrong and just do things. I don't want him to be sat too tough like that. I don't want the worst... I don't want to wish bad upon people. But I live there if he gets sad. He's a millionaire. He'll be in tomorrow for the rest of his life. And he's also the next two generations of his children. It's not going to affect him. So me wishing him to get sad. It's not like me wishing to, for Jake to get sad. Because we don't know what could happen to him the next day. He's not a millionaire. He's not rich. You know? He could suffer tomorrow as soon as he gets sacked. I won't. Only tomorrow, he can go and, go and buy some caviar. You know? And, and uh, spend the, what's it called? Um, all the money that he's meant to get from National United once As soon as they sack him. Because as soon as they sack him, they're going to have to pay him off. True. They'll pay him off, what, six, seven million? He gets sat, he gets sat, where, where's he gonna get? Nothing. So yeah, I just wanna be proven wrong by Oli. But now, I'm fed up. I'm really fed up. I'm so fed up with him, like, I'm done with him. I'm really done with no, him, This you know? is the first time I'm actually watching us in this show and you actually expressing yourself. Like, I'm, I'm actually so enjoying it. I'm so done. It. Like, like lay it out. Don't get it twisted. Lay it out. We're not forgetting the PSG and Leipzig game. This frustration is coming from the lack of consistency. Sensei. How can you beat Leipzig 5-0? One of the hardest teams in Europe to beat. And then not have a, a good setup for, for, for this Turkish side. I so don't get which it. Which concludes what I've been saying for the past year and a half. Oli is not football. capable enough to manage Manchester United. I, we lost to a team that I can never even pronounce their name. <laughs> it might not be the It's not me to say. Flash, 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 <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> No one knows their name properly and we're losing to them. And I, I'm, it's a team that you think, where did they come from? 
It's a boo. I, f- I, f- I thought that was. We used to go to Sassarel. We used to bed cheaters. We used to go for teams, but from not the back from the, the back chair. chair. But what the hell yeah. was this? You get what I mean? Like, what I mean? Whew. It hurts, guys. Guys, let us know exactly what you thought of that match against um, Istanbul. And um, what you thought of Ole Gunnar Social's tactics. Do you think he should go? Are you Ole in? Ole, Ole, or are you Ole out? What did you think of the team's tactics lineup? Did he need to change anything? Why did he bring on Henderson? Why did he make these Can changes? Can I ask you a question? Why did he make so much changes? Why didn't Edwin Cavani start this game? Why didn't it Cavani start? This was a game for Cavani, Cavani to start. start. We've already got him for a year. So when is he going to build his fitness? In, in February next year or something? Like, Oli don't know what to do. And even his first change that he made was back to Why are you bringing him to Saturday? I, I, I'm a losing. I'm a losing. It's, was to Bay holding his calf? Was he injured? No. I don't it was the most stupidest substitution of them all. His substitution today did not make any sense. And I can clearly see that Oli does not know what he's doing. He's lost for four. Clueless. Lost for what? He's clueless. He's absolutely clueless. He's done out here. He's done out here. <laughs> Oli, I feel sorry for you, you know. I feel sorry for I you. Don't. You've lost a lot of reputation, you know. Whatever you've had before. And you know what pisses me off the most? He was a man that used to capitalise from sitting on the bench. As a player. As a manager sitting on the bench. <laughs> I thought you was good at this already. You had, you had 20 years of training of sitting on the bench, analysing... And 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 to find out solutions of how to score the goal and how to do stuff. Mm-hmm. As a player, you're useless at that now. What happened? Well, only thing I can say, only haven't got the charisma to become a manager at Manchester United. You really haven't. haven't got the charisma. Uh, and charisma look, look helps in terms of relationship. Everything <laughs> you do, you go even when you go for a job interview, <laughs> you see the first. I you call it first impression, right? Yeah. But Oli, being this guy with his hands in his pocket, all he does is you know downplay um, everything. I'm like I can said before, this guy comes out on match days wearing a condom. <laughs> he, he wore one today. He probably wore two. He's too protective. He plays it safe. Like I, we need a manager that likes to go raw. You know, let his seam Take spread. Take risk. Get the goal pregnant, you know? I, know I, I don't have time for managers who wear condoms on the pitch, you know? I want a manager who's ready, ready, no condom on, goes in there raw, attacks with all these semen, gets that goal pregnant. Go, get, you know do what, what I you mean? Do. do what you gotta do. Poch, we're waiting for you. Poch, we need we're you, for you. Now, we saw Anyone saw that Sky Sports in the I saw that yesterday. He's looking young. He grew his hair, Jess. I saw the Sky Sports. He grew his hair. He said... He said he's ready for his new challenge. Like he's ready for it. It's the criminal message. He looks like he's ready. The guy said he lost David the Hill. He's already he was he was facing yeah. David the Hill. Yeah. You know, you know it's the subliminal well, messages. I need to watch that. that. Subliminal messages. But let's move on straight. I'm tired of it. Arsenal. Arsenal match. The Arsenal game, <laughs> guys. The Arsenal game. The <laughs> another, another game where we lost. You know, another game where we could have done something, but we did nothing. We played a diamond, but he changed the whole setup in terms of the players. It's always changing, man. Remember when they say, if it's not broke, don't change. Don't fix it or don't change it. And that system wasn't broke until he changed it because it worked perfectly well against um, RB Leipzig. He changed personnel. Mm -hmm. He um, he He made Fred sit. And he made McTominay play on the on the right hand right right diamond, diamond, which made no sense. With, which McTominay was playing, he was playing shit for ninety minutes and played a whole ninety minutes. Because he doesn't play. play he's not. In, I like McTominay, but he doesn't have that I, footballing IQ to play that sort of role. Because he's so tenacious, he would just be running everywhere helter skelter. I would I would have played um, um Vandabit. Yeah. You just took it out of my mouth. Easy. Easily. That was if, the if easy. If you was gonna make Fred sit play Van der Beek. Yeah. Because we're at home. We need to create at home. I don't understand. The owners and the impetus is on us at home. But yet again, I keep saying before, he wears condoms. Don't get it twisted. Mm-hmm. I think Arsenal were poor just like us. Yeah, but, but they were we were worse. But they won. They were better. Yeah. They won. But we were worse. Even and though we got more possession, we got everything than Arsenal, but I don't think we deserve to win that match. No, of course not. Of we course deserve not. to lose the match. But yeah, guys, it was just the worst one of the performance I've seen again. Two <clears> back-to-back <throat> performances where everything just went tits up. It went tits up. Well, what bugged me that day was, I know we didn't play a similar formation against Chelsea, but why did you've seen 
it didn't work. You used McTominay, Fred, against Chelsea, it didn't work. At home. At home. Mm -hmm. And you've done the same thing against Arsenal. What made you think it was going to work, Oli? Like, when you've got quality on the bench, mm -hmm. but I know you want people to start work hard, that, def that they use the defensive mindset to go track back and that, which is good. But like I said, if you ain't Oli yet, you guys speak the language, but Oli ain't got the balls to manage these players. Because tell me, did Bob, when Pogba played that day against PhD, that defensive work that he put in was amazing. Mm -hmm. So you tell me Pogba can't do it again and again and again. You need players that need that rush. They need, they need that urge. You can't give it to them one week and take it the next week. It's not a rotation thing. Mm -hmm. you got to find your first team, Oli. Since you've came, we've never seen your first team. On the Mourinho's era, the first year, we actually saw like a first team type of play in that. But I haven't seen that from Oli. Rotation, just going to break players. And Oli, you haven't got the intelligence to manage this place that you've got on your hand. And it hurts. Really hurts. You got anything to add to that, Jace? Stop playing two defensive midfielders at home. Just stop doing it. Stop doing it, man. You're making us stress, Oli. You're actually getting stressed. Another lockdown for stress. We don't need this. <laughs> we don't need this, you know. We don't need this. We do really don't need this, guys. <sighs> but, guys, I have to ask you. I just don't know, like, is it is it the fact that what can we do? What what can Oli do to change this? He can't. Can he change this? Can do you he know save what? this? I, f I don't know what happens in training, but the main issue is the team selection. More time and the tactics. He needs to get that first eleven bang on, and then if you want to change it during the next game, one or two changes. You don't need to change five man or four man. I understand we're playing Champions League and then weekend football. But we, we do that every season. Every season we have European football. You have a squad for this reason. And if you don't build on your squad, then that's your fault, Oli. You shouldn't be demanding certain transfers, bringing in more players. If you wanted Sancho, you should have demanded that. You yeah, should have went straight to the board and said, yo, I want Shane Sancho, man. What are you man's doing? Like, I'm being serious. Stop messing me around. If you want us to succeed, do you want us to win? Yes or no? You have to do that. You have to have some balls to go upstairs to and be like... I want Sancho, give me Sancho. Do you know? I can't remember the manager, I'm trying to think. Like, I don't know if it was Watford manager that left his job because they couldn't sign the player they wanted. I can't remember. Oli did the same thing. Do you know what that does for you? It puts you in a better situation that you know what you want. Mm -hmm. It'll help you get a job later as well. Because like, when you leave, you want to be on holiday for time, Oli. <laughs> Oli, time. you've, been, you've yeah. made us sat here and think about options. You've, uh, I'm actually enjoying you today, you know? Quick I'm question, quick question, question, quick question. If Oli was to get sat, would, it, would he get another job anywhere else? Yeah, 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 but not in the Premier League. No, he would I, get, I, no, I, no, no. I think he'll get a job back at Mould. No, nah, Istanbul. Istanbul. Just watch, they're all signing. They're yeah. all signing. <laughs> Oli, wait till it's research you, but you want to do, like, you want us to do... I can't say worse, but I think you're one of the easiest link managers in the Premier League. The only thing that helps you that you manage in the club, like Manchester United. But I honestly don't think but that I don't he'll think get another job. Yeah. He won't get another job at a top club. I don't see him getting a job in France. I don't see him getting a job in Italy. I don't see him getting a job in Spain. I don't see him getting another job in the Premier League because why? He's the charisma. Rubbish. The charisma ain't there. He's and the record on health. rubbish. His style of play is unattractive and rubbish. Like, I can't, as a CEO or owner of a football club, I can't be looking at Oli and say, mm, I fancy some of that guy, you know? <laughs> yeah. I fancy Oli, you know? I want him here. No one's going to say that. The only person that will say that would probably be Mold. Then Mold are in, in Denmark or whatever. Like, those clubs there, are, are probably a team in Ukraine. I can see, imagine a team in Ukraine, you know, um, Denmark, you know, Hungary, those, those third world countries, I, I see him. But I know that even clubs, even national teams like Nigeria, Ivory Coast, nah. uh, they, go, they won't take they him. They won't take him. They won't take Definitely him. They won't take him. We won't take him. Nobody will take him. Not even the championship team will take him. Because why? He's got, he's got a reputation of got Cardiff relegated. And, and, and him playing a manager in Molder, it's nothing to me. That doesn't mean anything to me. That's not credentials. And where are we finding That's ourselves not right now? What, where are we sitting on the table after six games? 15th! 
Never gonna forget that we are sitting. I ain't never 15th. seen that. Six games after six games, we're sitting at fifteen. Wow. And that's never happened in your lifetime. I ain't never seen that. This is first like this is 2020 came with so many surprises. As much as you fans, I think this, these are some of the surprises that we actually seen this year. I've never I never thought I would see my team sitting at that 15 after six game. I actually mentioned that when he came this afternoon because I was frustrated about that. Then the Jose, when he was at Chelsea, I swear he got sacked. And yep. they were in a very similar position. Yep. Or maybe 15, yep. 16. Or 18. Yep. Chelsea was Simmons. in a relegation position. But, uh, let me tell you this. If we go to Goodison Park on Saturday, we don't get result. We and the game after, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be in the same position. And if that board doesn't pull the trigger, then you know 150% that they're in that. They don't know what they're doing and have no clue. They're just here for the money. And I'll pull for the players. Because they might be left with I don't. with not a lot of players. I don't. Because the players have to take some, yeah, some small blame. They yeah, they have not to. always only. It's yeah, not no, always no, no, only. They have to. The players take blame as well. Yes, they have to. We did you know, we did point finger at the players when we feel like they deserve it. But Oli is the mastermind behind everything. So if you are a leader, mm -hmm. if you're a leader leading a whole batch, mm -hmm. if yeah. someone get ill or someone get run over with your, your people then, you the leader gonna be responsible. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So Oli, sorry that your name coming up all the time. That's because we think you are the leader. As a leader, I ain't even seen that leadership in you. So that's my skepticism there. I've been seeing it ever since. Exactly. We're just spawn like for example like that. We have a prime minister, he's responsible for this guideline of COVID. True. You're gonna blame him. Mm. If, even if you don't like it, he's responsible for it. He's in charge of this lockdown. He's organized this, he's the leader. So if it doesn't go well, it goes, it, the impetus goes back on him. You're the leader. You're the manager. Sure. The way I see football, though, the amount of peace that these players are getting paid, you can't not judge the players and you can't not put responsibility at their door. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. for instance, Matic today, for a player, a professional footballer, to leave a man free on goal... Mm -hmm. That's not his but, position. But when... But when somebody, when we're having a corner, for instance, things are set up. We the centre have, backs go forward, don't they? We don't have to point finger Matic if of course Oli we do. did the right thing. But Oli's not going to go on the pitch and tell Matic, no. Matic, stay goal side. I learned that at five his years old. Tactics, his tactics was wrong already. We thought he'd be using a Matic in that position. We didn't have, Matic wouldn't have done what he did. So Oli choosing that tactics and philosophy wherever we play today. I blame Oli. I don't blame Matic. Because Matic's not a defender. He's holding midfielder. Why are you leaving but he's the, hold... the last man, though. Yeah, but he's not a defender. He's using his holding midfielder. Everyone, why? Where why, where's, the why where's, where's the defender? Well, we had a corner, though. The Where was the went up, They went up for the exactly. corner. Exactly. We had a corner. You, you left your defender. Uh... went all the way there. And blaming the midfielder. No. But Oli's tactics. Wait, wait, wait. It's but when, we a, tactics. when we have a corner, the centre-backs go forward, no? Yeah, yeah. Yes, but, or do the centre-backs stay back? Yeah, but... One it's in the first half. Half of them go forward. It's in the first half. Half of the time, they go forward. When in the second half, you need a last-minute goal. No, Our defensive-minded today was weak. <laughs> but Jax, just we agree to disagree on that one. Just yes. to add to that, <laughs> at, at, at the end of the day, yeah. Oli, he said before, Oli is the manager. Like just like any other business, I understand football, but just in my workplace, if every single staff member is being rude to the customers or whichever whatever industry you're in, or doing things wrong, yeah you know, or being inconsistent in their performance, mm -hmm. the guy at the top, that's the CEO no, or the, the director or the, the region top. manager, you don't know, no, no, but said that it's the guy that the region manager will come and find out. Why are these guys why? performing inconsistently? Why are they not trained to the standard? It goes down to the manager, it all falls down to the sure, manager. Of course. You're in charge of all of this. But then at the same time, those men that are being rude to the customer, aren't they going to get sacked at some point? Aren't they so going to get disciplined? It's so not 100% that manager, you feel me? Yeah, but that's the manager training them. So if they're doing things wrong, like doing the wrong thing yeah. in terms of the process or procedure or whatever exactly. industry that they work in, it's going to be on the manager. It's going to be on the manager at the end of the day, Jax. At the end of the day, he's the one that orchestrates everything. He's Oli is the person that sets up the coach and the coaching or 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 whatever they're doing in the coaching pitch. Yes. I, don't, I, I don't know. When Matic 
fell off. When Matic was playing this afternoon, this evening, right? Mm -hmm. When that happened, yeah? Mm -hmm. He was pointing finger at Matic. My feeling. Where was Oli? Oli wasn't there, you know? Yeah. Where was Oli? Yeah, yeah. He, he wasn't there, he's not there, he's not there. You're not there to even like ask your player, sure. demand your player, control your players. That's the I know what he was doing. Of course. Though. Checking out. No, no, like, like, he was like, chilling. Like, of course. like, 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 should have known because he gets paid a hundred. Yes, we know he should have. Because I know that and I'm not a professional. But if you watch, well, if you watch much his reaction towards the game, the, the, the bull, yeah, it was looking on the far right. Mm -hmm. Why? Far right. Because that's where the play started. Mm -hmm. He didn't look at his back. So I understand, like I said, his, defense, his midfield instinct kicks in. Mm -hmm. So as a manager, why are you sitting there? Why can't you sit, stand on that um, line, controlling your players, telling your player to track back? Because we didn't have any single Manchester United player inside our own half. Jesus. All of them were in the other half. No, but I really know what Oli was doing. Just like my man Saeed says all the time, he was he, he's playing Candy Crush on that iPad, bro. <laughs> That's what he's doing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's he doing? What is this? What's the what deal with this? this what's he doing with this iPad? Like, what's he? The, the game is from, right in front of you. From football manager to <laughs> Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Yeah, yeah, that's funny, you see that's this? Funny, that's funny. <laughs> Like, what is that's the deal with the right. iPad though? Uh, what do you need to see on the iPad? Like the the, the, the game's in front of you. The game's right in front of you. What do you need to see a bird eye view of the match? I don't understand. It hurt me to say this, but I saw more for enthusiastic um personality from Mourinho than Oli. Hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Of I'm course. just saying. I'm just saying. Doesn't mean we want to go back, man. So, no, but I don't want, I don't want uh, um, Mourinho either, but it's just like when we losing or games things Manchester United did something, Mourinho is gonna be on them players right then and then. Mm -hmm. All he waits till he get all he, stop talking behind closed doors sometimes, don't help, you know. Because you know what? But if I need this is the same method I'm going for every day, why why am I gonna stop doing what I do? Because I'm not even gonna take my hiding corner um, uh, careful though, don't do that you know, you know the man's looking at you. No. Let me tell me off in front of everyone else. Exactly, and that's what I like to see, man. Well, like I said before, for Amok, yeah, he doesn't have balls. He's just got a penis. <laughs> he's got a penis with no two balls. And he wears a condom to manage. So, like, what do you expect from him? He plays his safe. He's got no balls. What do you expect from you that guy? Why do you always taking the blame? Why are you always taking the blame, Oli? You are a human, you know. Sometimes, tell people what they did wrong. Stop taking the blame. I know Mourinho never took blame from no one, which we hate Mourinho for, but only taking too much blame for yourself. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for the club either. We need to see more from you. Action, your father. Your father figure to this place. We want to see the father figure from you as well. And also, one thing to add on that, stop smiling when we lose games. Stop smiling when no, we talk there's, no, there's nothing funny about it's that. It's not funny. It's like, not funny. You need to keep it real sometimes. I do understand you're getting media trained to give off a positive personality. I know when you first came in, we praised you for your positivity in comparison to Mourinho's negativity. But when we lose, be honest. Say you're disappointed in the players for this performance. Smile. Say you're disappointed. Don't smile because we're not smiling. You no, know? we're like, not. The only people that smile in bad times are people that are high. Uh, oh. Are you high? <laughs> are you high? Because I need to understand. Because that's what we tell that. Like, you can tell a high person, yeah, okay. some bad stuff, but he's gonna smile. He's gonna be trying. Hey, but wait, wait, you know your ups always smile to your damn fools. Or you know my ups? Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Nah, why are you I smiling don't know. when you're losing? We're losing, you're smiling the same way City and Liverpool fans are smiling. smiling. So it makes no difference between this correct, man. Like, only, only. Okay, guy, let's move on from this topic and let's come go close to the end of the show as well. Uh, it was a good story. So, guys, okay, cool. as we come in close to the end of the show, let's just go straight into the weekend roundup of the Premier League. Of the, the, the past weekend, sorry. Oh, Amok, so, what did you think of? What was a highlight match for you during the weekend? I would say after my team lost, the only game that I think I liked, the, I watched and I really liked the intensity of it was the Newcastle Everton match. Yeah. It was really good because it was no no in the first half to the second half. I think that's when Newcastle started doing the bits, but it was back, head, head, head. Like, I know Everton didn't want to lose, but it was really good to see them lose that match. I felt good. And Everton, Newcastle, 
I felt good that actually one of our old players, one of our legend managing the club and doing bits. So it just makes you feel good. Like I said in life, anytime you go through something, find something that makes you smile. My team lost this weekend against Arsenal. So I've got to take something that makes me smile. And you guys who team made you guys who made me smile. Sure. <laughs> My highlight was probably I would say um Leeds versus Leicester. Okay. That Monday match. Monday. Mm -hmm. Leeds I think they won for one at home. They destroyed it, destroyed Leeds. Jamie Vardy's on smoke. He's been on can't smoke. Stop you know, can't stop scoring. At his age as well. Face sport, pay four, not it. Pay four, pay five. I thought it'd be like 31, 32. 32? I thought he was that. Fate, I'm trying to say 1, 32. He's in his face. He's in his face. Anyway. In his face. <laughs> yeah, well, he was on smoke, man. Most of the that, that match should impress me, especially seeing the way Leeds. Leeds didn't give up. They played the way that they always want to play, mm -hmm. you know, even though they were two of two goals down, they still play the same way, you know. And, you know, sometimes I envy that because teams that lead, they have a philosophy, they have a way of playing, while we don't have no philosophy, no way of playing or anything. And they stick to their guns. They really do stick to their guns if they're losing or not. I, I, I admire that. I admire that. And I admire their manager as well. He's a very good manager. Very good. Unlike us. Very yes, good. What, what was your highlight? Um, I really enjoyed the Villa Southampton game. Yeah, that was a We all love high scoring games. That was a mm -hmm. Four three to Southampton. A player that was on our uh, books, or we, our scouts were looking at him in any way. Um, Jack Grealish with a goal and a couple of assists, I believe. He was amazing in that game. And Villa, with maybe a, <laughs> another five minutes added on, might have actually got a draw. So that was a very good game for me. Um, yeah. And of course, guys, as you know, we have Everton this weekend at Goodison Park. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bad one. It's gonna be a mad one. It's gonna be a shaky one, guys. Um, of course, we've just lost. We've lost two games in a row at Everton at Goodison Park. It could be another one. You know, it could be three games in a row. And if we lose three, three games in a row, it has to go. He has to go. And I'm not confident that we'll win. I know that we're going to go to Everton and get smoked. Get peppered. Get it. We're going to get it. We're all going to get it, you know? Because you know why Ancelotti doesn't wear condoms when he manages these teams. And I'm going to forever say this until this guy goes away. Like, <laughs> him, me, Ancelotti straight away, he's a very good coach. He's way better than Mourinho. I mean, he's way better than Oli. Oli. He's, he's better tactically as well. He's got a better way philosophy. of playing football, philosophy, philosophy. And, he, and his midfield is a bit better than ours. You know, we've got the better individuals in midfield. And he's got better credentials. They've got the, a better midfield in terms of working, in terms of working together, in terms of fluidity, you know, in terms of just everything, ethic, work ethic and everything. Their midfield functions way better than our midfield. It's just the midfield. Mm -hmm. We strike. That's right. And I, I, I definitely see Calvin Lewin beating up Maguire and definitely if Lindelof is playing, he's going to bully Lindelof and he's going to beat him in the air. And that's what I fear the most. I hope he does because I like Lindelof. I feel Lindelof needs to be more. He needs just one weight. But I'm a, that, guy, that guy's going to eat him. Technically that smart. That guy's going to eat him. No, in terms Calvin of Lewin will give him. Physically, yeah, yeah, he might be. He's going to bully him. But t using your... I think Lindelof got that cover though. I don't know, man. Let, let me look at the cover. Let me know. This is his talent. This is his strength. He uses his head. And he does the smartest thing with his head. But physically... I don't rate that guy. No. But <laughs> he, I've been as much as you don't rate him, but it's too, for me, it's the best defender we've got. I've been saying it, and I'm going to keep saying it. He is the best defender we've got. Manchester United, not Maguire or whoever we've got. Hmm. For me, it's Lendelof. Fair enough. What do you think? What's your opinion of the match? Do, do you know think what? it's going to happen? Goodison Park is always a bad place for us. I've got so many bad memories from Goodison Park, you know. So Shit. I reckon it's an L. And I've been wrong with the predictions, I think, for the last month. So <laughs> hopefully I'm wrong this time and we can maybe win, but I'm going for the L. And more quickly, what do you think? I'm with, the, I'm with my man Jags. I think it's going to be another L. Just because we haven't been in a good form. And like you said, we're going against the manager. He's a top notch. That he really knows to manage his team, so kind of a lose for us. Maybe that might make only leave. So yeah. So yeah, guys. As you see, three L's for us. You know, we don't think we're gonna win. We want Oli out, of course. Um, the worst week we've had so far. You know, 
since the season started. started yeah. Two defeats in a row. It has been good for us, Manchester United fans, you know, this week. And um, my United fans, as much as I keep on saying it before, and I say it all the time, try to take it easy, you know. I know it's easy to react and show your feelings, especially after we've just lost to Istanbul and also lost to Arsenal. You know, just keep humble, keep faith. Eventually, the right decision will be made, you know. I, I, so as well, I'm, I'm hoping that I, I'm, I get proven wrong and he turns things around and all of a sudden we start playing amazing football. Mm -hmm. All of mm -hmm. a sudden, he brings in some top coach and all, everything just changes. But back in my mind, I know that that's not going to happen. But by now, if I just take it easier, as always, you know. And of course, thank you for watching, as always. We have come to the end of the show. It was a good one. I don't know why. I actually enjoyed the show today, you know. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I know. Although you, I forgot to plug the you, mic halfway through the show. Yeah, but you will be vocal today. Oh, you will be vocal today. If they sound like a bit that. slow, <laughs> it's because the mic wasn't connected, guys. Um, as we end it, we do the socials. Amok. Pray Flacco underscore 91. <laughs> I didn't even get to say where can we find you. He's ready. Pray Flacco on Instagram, <laughs> underscore 16, don't know. <laughs> he's ready. He's been, he's been practicing in front of the mirror. That's what he's been doing. And Jess, where can they find you? Jax underscore United, Insta. And of course, guys, you can always find me on my own personal Instagram account, which is Avron underscore Spice, same as the Twitter. Also, as always, remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to like and share. Remember to sus and remember to follow the Instagram channel, which is at Regina sorry, which is Reginated TV One. As always, guys, and remember, as always, as always, keep it united if you can, and remember to keep it Reginated. We are boys. Peace out. <laughs>